Hey guys, so let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the great realm of MetaZoo. So MetaZoo, um, this Mike Waddell character, is trying to get in the good graces, and he's been talking a lot. And Mike Waddell, if you don't remember, he is, I think, the creator of the game. He's the one who sat down with Alpha Investments. He's the one who has sat down with Steve Aoki, sports card investor, Jeff Wilson, right? So he has been on the campaign. And I view this as no different than any other campaign, politics aside, where he's trying to sway the audience. And one way that he's trying to do this is he actually went on Nick's Strength in Pokemon and as you know, Nick Strength and Pokemon actually has another channel, which is much larger than Alpha Investments channel. Or Pay Money Wubby, right? Uh, these are the two main bigger influencers. Now, you could st say Steve Aoki, but his social media isn't actually as big as Alpha Investments. And it looks like, from my understanding, is Alpha Investment doesn't want much to do, even though I think he's the only person who can actually save MetaZoo from a financial standpoint, and he has the incentives, it's $1 million of incentives to save it, uh, when in fact they only wanted uh, $250,000, it looks like. Uh, it looks like one dude would take $100,000 and some equity in the company. So Mike Waddell went uh, and he responded to Nick Strength in Pokemon, upsetting him a great deal, saying that he won't talk you know he's too important to do an interview with Nick Strength and Pokemon because he doesn't have millions of views uh, this is what Mike would this is a question would you consider doing a video of Nick Strength I think it would be great if you no as much as I'm sure Nick is a great guy the type of rumor mill reporting and drama seeking isn't something I respect or particularly like this is Mike effing Waddell from a bankrupt company where he owes people money, including his own customers, his own players, probably vendors. It, it's so bad, bankruptcy is the option he's choosing. You don't choose bankruptcy and your reputation does not survive bankruptcy, Mike Waddell. I don't know what the lawyer is telling you, or if you have a lawyer... Uh, bankruptcy is the last option because when you choose bankruptcy, instead of paying your clients or your vendors or your customers or your player base, you decide to pay a lawyer. So basically you're saying, hey, I don't have enough money. Let me pay a lawyer. And his grand scheme seems to be later on, he's going to, I mean, this is so awkward, right? He's going to use, he's going to sell, he's going to have this belly guy from whatnot sell all his grails to hire a lawyer. So he's funding, so instead of selling these grails to pay back what he owes, he's selling them to hire a lawyer to go through bankruptcy so he doesn't have to pay back what he owes. This is the type of guy who is uh, concerned about rumor mill reporting and drama. Granted, Nick doesn't and never did have an obligation to report in a thorough way. He's not a reporter and isn't held to those standards, and that's just the way he chose to run his channel. Full stop, he's not on payroll. He's not an alpha investment. He's not a pay money wubby. He's not an Argos Anonymous. What about F is Argos right now? You're talking about, you know, I talked about Alpha Red. All this news is breaking out like crazy. And you don't see Argos. Argos is like, he's, he's still around. He's still selling on eBay today. He probably listed another 100 items to sell on eBay. But he ain't got the time to make like a five-minute video addressing. Because it's not positive, right? Cards and dumpsters. Anything Mike Waddell is saying is not positive. Argo has said many times. And this is my biggest criticism against MetaZoo. Anyone who brings reasoning or logic or criticizes MetaZoo, they're put down like a dog, right? But in fact, I was just trying to save you money, right? Two months ago, two years ago, I said, hey, this guy this thing looks shady, man. It reminds me a lot of Pico Trade. Management is horrific. I said that back then. And it seems like, like 
there are inside deals that are not public, which there is. No problem with that, but it's not the type of channel I would do interview on. And then he couldn't leave that alone. He, he kind of continued on. I mean, if that was it, I think Nick Strain from Pokemon, he would be like, all right, I mean, I kind of get it. But then there was this. If I any channels you're open to being interviewed by, like Argos, Mike Waddell. If I do any sort of interview, it will be with someone who regularly gets millions of views. Who the F are you, Mike Waddell? <laughs> you are the inventor of a failed card game due to management. You are... Your best case scenario is going bankrupt. Your, your best case scenario is bankruptcy, which you don't even have the lawyer right now to do because you need to sell more MetaZoo cards to go bankrupt. And, and I, I, let, me, let me just straight up tell you where the money goes in bankruptcy. It goes to their lawyer fees. Everyone else doesn't get paid. The lawyer gets paid because the lawyer takes a retainer to begin with. No one's taking a bankruptcy case without taking a hefty retainer to make sure they are paid. They understand that the lawyer understands that, hey, like this, my client does not want to pay all these people he should be paying. I got to get my money out first. So then I need the retainer money. I need a retainer from you, Mike. The reason they haven't hired a lawyer is no lawyer is willing to take the case unless they're willing to pay in full because they are a client that has shown to multiple times from customers to players to vendors that they are unable to pay or unwilling to pay what they actually owe legally. They legally owe players money. They legally owe these pre-orders money and they legally owe vendors money, I assume. So this is the grand plan. I mean, this Mike Waddell guy, I mean, this is his grand plan. I mean, I don't understand why he would pop up again. He's going to get so much hate. Like, it's coming. It's not from Nick Strange from Pokemon. He's been very, very great. I mean, he's been very political, almost like a reporter about it. I'm not going to be so much, right? Because I want to sue MetaZoo too. I would love to be on, I mean, I think a class action would happen. It's just that these MetaZoo people still, they've, the, given the one thing, it's, it was really easy to lead the, the sheep into the cliff, right off the cliff, because they still believe MetaZoo is going to do the native. Like, it's been over a month. Like, no no other scenario. Like, I got clutch sports. People were concerned after two weeks of their pre-orders. Like, if you pre-order something and it wasn't delivered two weeks ago or two weeks since the pre-order, people got concerned. And they asked for refunds. Like... No, I, there are multiple MetaZoo people who after six months, right? That's the time period that you can successfully typically do a chargeback on your credit card. They still believed. I mean, I guess they, he, I mean, I guess they, he found like a really good target audience because these people believe anything. I, I, they believe Bigfoot is real, probably most of them. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's wild in my opinion that like, cause in any other scenario, if you pre-order something that far in an advance and you don't get it on time, you know, uh, secret layers, for instance, sometimes they're delayed. People get really mad on Reddit about it. I've seen what, I mean, where is this anger? Like the anger is going towards me and Nick strength, Pokemon, other meta zoo. Like people like, there's no one left. Let's, let's be honest. Nick strength is right. There's no one left. Um, but why are you not angry at this guy, Mike Waddell? He ain't paying you guys, you idiots. He ain't paying anyone back. The whole strategy is to not pay people back. Because if he wanted to pay people back, he would sell his grails. Instead of putting money in a lawyer, he could put money in towards paying people back slowly. By selling these grails with Bailey. But that's not his plan. His plan is to go bankruptcy so he doesn't have to pay people back. You know, it's a, it's a really bad plan, but we'll see.